And we are live. What's going on, friends? Great to see you on here. It's good to see the energy is nice and high up in the stream. It's always fun. Let's throw a few comments up. See, we got people chiming in from all over the place. Always good to people bring a good, zesty attitude to the call. Always love seeing that. Mosquitoes are buzzing my head. Don't love seeing that. <laughs> all right. Greetings, greetings. Atlanta in the house. Houston's in the house. I like it. Slick Rick, fun name. I dig it. I used to remember listening to that guy. We got people in from Norway. Love it. Good to see that good international audience coming on. What's up, dog? There you go. Got that good feeling. It's a good thing. Justin's pumped up. Let's go Lemonheads. Yeah, I love it. Free, yeah, live free or die. So I always love that slogan. I just wish that they uh, they still had that kind of energy about them. It seems to have gone, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, all good. Sweet and zesty lemons. I like it. Let's go. Here we go. Yeah, Healy is not joining us today, but that's all right. Hey, we'll get it done. We will get a productive call no matter who joins, no matter what's going on. It seems like there's always lots to talk about, lots of exciting things happening. So we will uh, we will get that stuff running. Good. Australia, Brisbane, love it. Good to see you on there, Stan. Mike Casey, what's going on, man? Good to see you. Got some more Orlando. Oh, good. Southern Florida. There's a guy who's thinking. There's a guy who's thinking. I like it. Squeeze them lemons. Yes, always fun to do, right? We got ATL in here. Oh, the Healy is joining us. All right. Healy's listening in today. All right. It's all right. You couldn't make it live, but it's all right. Good to see him in. More Norway. I like it. We got a good Norway representation. This is fun. Whiplash martini hour. I like it. Who's poor? Eh? Whatever happened to anyone coming in here with a good recipe? Or some good lemon martini. Someone said we were going to get one in here. That would be fun. Nick from Nigeria. How you doing, Nick? Good to see you, man. It's good. Oh, lemon mix. I like that. That's fun. What's going on, Brad? Brad's in a good place. I like it. LFG, I'm right with you, man. Cheers from Nicaragua. Lee, how you doing, man? Good to see you, buddy. Good evening. It's going. ATL, it's good. North Carolina, we, we got it from, come from all over the place. It's a great international audience today. Some LFGs, it's good. Lemon, lemon, Vita Loca, I like it, Bill, I like it. New Jersey with Slick Rick, it's good, good stuff. Good stuff, guys. I, I'm still uh, just waiting back from the Jay. I think uh, I don't have any reasons to believe he isn't joining, but we will jump into it here in a moment, either way, with or without him, and have some productive discussions about what's going on in the ecosystem while we're waiting either way, right? So listening from New Jersey, it's good. It's good. I love I love hearing people who are listening from work. To me, that smells like the sound of people who are doing what I call firing your boss hole or excited to do so. Stomping lemonade for lemon, it's good. <laughs> North Carolina, Diane's in the house, what's going on? Millville, New Jersey. Prakash from India, I like it. Serena Hotliner, I like it. Yeah, all right, LA, here we go. We got lots of people coming in. Yeah, as for that call, well, we, you know, I don't know when that is, but we know some people are eager trying to organize it, and it'll happen when it happens, friends. You know, that's just the way the way the ball bounces sometimes, right? So that's it. Melbourne, Florida. Okay, that's not too far. Southern Florida, I like it. Working from home has its benefits. Yeah, so does retirement, right? <laughs> Just not having a boss in general has a lot of benefits. Who doesn't love that idea? Um. Anyway, let's get into it here, friends. We've got Alabama. All right, it's good. Yeah, I agree with Nick. It's always good to hit and like those channels. YouTube very much favors the algorithms for channels that have a lot of likes and a lot of comments on it. And that's kind of what we want because... We just want to get more eyeballs on these projects. I know there's good things coming, but let's all we should always be doing whatever we can control. And I think that's important, right? To do so. I think that's always fun at work. I love it. I love when people are at work. 
All right, guys. In the meantime, let's have a productive chat. I'm going to be here to take on the questions. We'll do it kind of FAQ style. But I just want to dialogue with you a little bit about just my personal strategy. This is not a official advice. It's not quote unquote financial advice. Just here to share some ideas with you. I'm not a financial advisor, of course, and everyone's got to do what feels best for their families here and everywhere else in any other ecosystem. And so uh, while we're waiting, still believe the boys are jumping on, but I still want to talk about some of these important things. So for me personally, for my personal stance, I am holding on to my debt tokens. I'm not, I'm not liquidating those. And I mean that by all my L2 projects, right? So I'm holding on to those. It's the NFTs. I'm personally more looking to swap, but we got Jay on with us. So we will just jump straight. <laughs> Yes, can you hear me all right, man? Hey, guys. How you guys doing? Doing good, man. We were just having a quick little chat waiting for you, and uh, we're happy that you're here joining us. All right. I wanted to jump on tonight and uh, really kind of uh, continue beating the drum of positivity and uh, and running. We, uh, we keep having a bunch of um, conversations about... Uh, other projects i do understand that there is probably not a ability to talk about those uh anywhere else for some people having said that i'm really gonna beg 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 we we're out here busting our butts to get everything going we have eyes on us um we just need to make sure that things are keeping clean in the chat so people are getting the uh answers that they need the questions are being asked at a point that we can really lay out uh everything clearly to them and um, we make sure we keep everything civil and polite. I don't care if someone's wronged you, we're lemon here. We don't do any back talking back and forth. We just turn the cheek and put a smile on our face because actions speak louder than words. Nothing else is gonna matter. I love it. I second that sentiment. It's great to keep the groups clean and on the on that note of keeping the groups clean, maybe we should do another quick recap of kind of what the next Thursday, Thursday, Thursday is kind of looking at so those who are still confused we just kind of try and beat that drum a couple more times so people can get in their heads what's going on and maybe we minimize the chatter in those groups too yeah i, I absolutely love that idea okay so uh obviously we have this thursday uh, which will be a we'll call it the light paper thursday this is going to be one that you're going to get the tokenomics for all of the l2 projects um, and uh, get to kind of see some uh, fun things. That is going to be Thursday the 27th uh, tomorrow, uh, my time. Uh, the following Thursday is going to be July 4th. July 4th is going to be the very first time that you'll be able to uh, swap any debt NFTs for a LEM NFT. It will be a free mint. Uh, I've had a lot of conversations. Why would anybody do this? You don't have to. You can just wait it out for one more week and uh, get to the point where you, um, you know, can uh, come in on the on July 11th and pay 25 bucks. If you look at the amount of debt token you'll acquire from that uh, NFT over the next few years versus how many uh, you're going to acquire in the LEM, that is going to be a personal decision. A lot of what we have done is due to the birthday giveaways. So I've had a lot of people have conversations about um, the OG projects and when that's gonna come live and, and that. We are going to right now um, try and get at least one L2 project up by the 11th, the same time frame uh, to run. But I will tell you that that is gonna be somewhat difficult um, because we won't have a LEM token uh, to run with it unless people sell it very quickly. So. If we don't have a big group of individuals that do um, debt NFTs, we will not be pushing out L2 projects, obviously on the 11th, because we won't have any LEM token for anybody to go to grab or trade in order to get an L2 project done, which means the L2 projects will be the following Thursday, the 18th, and we will be supplying the uh, LEM token internally uh, based off of the marketing side of um, of the other 50, which is going to be in the light paper. You'll see that uh, tomorrow on how that will basically come to fruition to make sure we basically can supply that liquidity so that there is LEM token to physically trade into and is it LEM token to physically go. That will also give everybody a good idea of what the um, 
the swap mechanism to get to LEM will look like and how quick it's going to have to get up on a DEX. Um, this is going to be rapid whiplash time, guys. We have the 4th, the 11th, and the 18th. So if you kind of keep those uh, Thursdays in mind, that is going to be light papers, LEM NFTs, L2 NFTs, and we are off to the races, and it's going to continue every single Thursday, I think, for the whole month of July and probably the whole month of August. Now, you are going to see some names popping up in the chat. We've had a couple exchanges pop in today. We have to keep these chats clean. Uh, we have listing letters now uh, and commitments for two exchanges. These are top 20 exchanges. They are ready to go. We are working on some of the back end stuff to see when uh, we believe we're going to have enough liquidity for them to kind of run. I would love them day one. That's not possible. We're going to probably have to kick them about two weeks after the DEX is listed. Um, I think we're going to have a pretty rapid schedule to a couple exchanges a month and maybe more uh, popping through here. Um, we are working on a couple other very large announcements, obviously with the tech um, on trying to get a, a tentative for the app through the app store. We have uh, third parties has to approve that. So that's not something we have in our control. Once we get a tentative uh, approval or an approval with just a few fixes, Terry can tell you from a programmer's perspective, uh, we put an app in, it's either going to get approved and then we can basically give you a date or it's going to get rejected, kick back, and then we have to fix some things and they give us a list and then it goes back out. I've never got an app through on the first time. They always kind of change things and everybody looks at code a little differently. So understand we are heading down that route, a route I believe the first um, uh, app submission will happen this Friday. We're hoping to have a submission uh, return back to us beginning of the week. It typically is a day or two business days. Um, and so if we can get that kicked, I'm very, very hopeful that sometime in the next 10 days, we will have a live wallet app uh, that will allow us to uh, obviously help these processes of getting these things swapped, getting these things um, uh, purchased, getting people into the LEM token, getting the decks hooked up, getting the underlying um, L2 project situated. It'll make everybody's life a lot easier. It is coming. Um, we basically have done this whole ecosystem now in, in a, a couple months, honestly. Uh, this is rapid, rapid speed. So give us a little bit of time. This is not something you guys have been here for two years. This is something that is literally um, 60 to 90 days in the process. Uh, and we're basically doing everything we did in two and a half years in a very, very short time period horizon. So um, I hope everybody can understand that and get through that. And that is the recap for the last probably two weeks in Zooms for timelines, everything else. So Terry, hit me now with uh, everything else. Yeah, uh, just th there are several ways to get that app out and bypass the Google and Apple Play Store. So I'll send you some stuff and we can just powwow about that. Maybe it makes sense, Perfect. maybe it doesn't, but that's a good idea. So um, the next thing too, people, people have questions about when they'll be able to swap L2s for L2s. Is that going to be app dependent? No, it won't be. You can still use the wallet connect for that. So you can still keep it in your safe pal. You can still keep it in, uh, a trust, a MetaMask. Um, everything we're doing is not relying on the app. It's just going to make it easier to have it all a push button. Um, everybody kind of going from web two to web three, obviously we're trying to keep everything at a web two, uh, level, uh, to make it simple, easy, push them a click of a button. Uh, we're trying not to get anybody too technical, but have to actually go to a contract and do that. The DAP will assist in all of that through third party, uh, wallets. Gotcha. Jay, there's a, there's a, one other question that's, uh, I don't know, slightly controversial. I'll drop it on the screen, but it, so, things this effect keep coming up. So I think it's just easier to take it on and it'll keep the groups cleaner. Sure, cool. Sorry, go, go ahead. Go ahead and answer it. Oh, sorry. It. Uh, can we clarify why Debtbox claims there's nothing official between them and Lemon at this time? Thank you. Love these calls. Uh, they actually led into it very clearly. Uh, they physically uh, announced it without announcing it. Read it very clearly. It's not official until a Zoom call happens. Um, so you can read it a couple different ways. We are trying to get on a Zoom. We're trying to get something uh, situated. It was supposed to happen uh, tonight. We're now hoping to get something situated in the next day or maybe two. It is coming. Um, and let me assure you that uh, you can read that however you'd like, but it pretty much says everything you need to know in it. Um, we have been very, very vocal that uh, 
the other side has been beating us up pretty good. That does not mean we want retaliation from this side. So please, 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 we are 11 family. Keep the zest uh, down to a sweet zest and uh, not a sour one. Um, if you have a problem with a moderator on that side, it's not time to call them out. Guys, we are almost at the finish line. Just let's make this a simple transition. Let's keep everybody positive. There's no need for uh, anything sour in our lemon group. Let's just keep it sugar. Right. So the first thing coming up right now is the ability to swap the NFTs, not the debt token for the lemon token, because there isn't lemon token on an open marketplace. I know people are asking that. Did you yep. want to add anything to that? Yeah, don't go buy any uh, token until you have the contract ID. The contract ID will not actually be in uh, the white paper right now. We need to keep that out because there is something called front running bots. Um, if anybody has been with us for the last uh, few years uh, or if you know anything about crypto, um, we do not want to have third parties or maybe even some community members take advantage and front run the system and make the, the token spike so everybody else basically has to pay at a higher price. So uh, we are going to be announcing that as latest as possible uh, before we go list. And I'm hoping to have the wallet out so I never have to announce it. You can just do it through the wallet and then it'll come out uh, after individuals have actually had a time to uh, participate in the lowest price possible. Gotcha. So the lemon, the lemon token itself, just for those who are asking us to clarify as many things as we can on the front end for housekeeping, Lemon token will come out within a matter of days, probably a very short time frame after the first lemon NFTs are have gone live. There is no way to buy it any other way because it's not live. It'll be minted into existence. Did you want to add any other commentary to that? Uh, you are correct. Correct. For someone also, if you want to make a couple of quick comments on the housekeeping front, because this kept question came up a ton, is... Do you want to just go over really quickly the pros and cons of why someone might consider selling their debt NFT or swapping their debt NFT for a lemon NFT in the very first week? Yeah. So look, I, um, I see a lot of value in uh, the debt NFTs guys. I, I am the largest holder in debt NFTs. I am not going to swap any of mine over. Um, as of right now, I've kind of given everybody a commitment that, uh, my portfolio is just going to kind of stay where it's at. The, the amount of NFTs, I believe in the debt is going to be very, very small. Um, I kind of got caught in a box and I'll just be honest what it is. If I didn't offer it, I'd be crucified. If I offered it, I'd be crucified because what's the value. Um, and so I said, you know what? It's a free market. Everybody can do it. You can do it. If you want, you can run the math and say, well, I paid 3000 for it. I can pay. 8,000 for it. I paid 15,000 for it, whatever it may have been. I can also make the argument that that has been the most pr profitable NFT in the marketplace. And if you paid $3,000 for it in the first run, that thing has probably made you closer to 20 grand already. The amount of debt token probably in the life expectancy of that NFT between now and the end of time is probably close to a hundred debt token left uh, or right around there um, with what's coming with the havings and so on. And so you just need to kind of make a personal decision whether it's time to restart something else um, and, uh, and let it go or not. If you have a large run to the door with dead NFTs and you were one that did not swap, the good news is you're going to actually have more debt token coming to you personally because you were one that didn't do it. So it is a little bit of a guessing game. The pros and cons are you're probably never going to be right no matter what answer you give or, or do. Uh, but if there is not a large amount of people coming over, you also probably are going to be one of the only ones above the founders nodes that will be uh, getting distributions for that first week. So it could be a very big uh, thing. So if you, if you see a large rush to the door, probably staying is a better idea. If you don't see a large rush to the door, you may want to be first over. Um, welcome to free market. And it is what it is. Let's uh, spend a couple minutes. I think it'll put a lot of minds at ease once again and calm a lot of the chatter in the group so people can be more zesty. Can you mm -hmm. spend a few minutes discussing what is the difference between those founders nodes that come out in the first year versus the ones that come out after that first 10 day period and that there are reasons behind it and maybe just touch on some of those reasons for wh where those, how that token's being allocated and why? Um, yeah, we basically wanted every single NFT to be free. Uh, the founders are paid for. Uh, so 
Um, it's one of those things where we wanted to make sure that we had two classes of NFTs. So a founder NFT will never be a retail NFT and a retail NFT will never be a founder's N uh, NFT. So you are getting the first year of availability for, um, uh, for nodes it's, uh, in NFTs. It's, it's not something that uh, you got cut out on. It's just there is no such thing as a free uh, founders. The light paper goes through that. So if you're looking for a free license, then you're getting the very first ones possible for that. Uh, if you uh, are interested in, uh, in purchasing a, a license, then you can kind of give me a ring. Uh, they are hefty. If you would like to uh, have those conversations, feel free to give me a ring. Uh, you cannot be inside the United States if that's the case. You have, you've got about three different jurisdictions you're okay doing it in. Otherwise, you're out of the qualified and run anyway due to your jurisdiction. Gotcha. Fair enough. I like it. And so those those tokens still are largely anyway being used for things like treasury functions, marketing functions, liquidity on DEXs, all things that are necessary for the ecosystem to move forward. Otherwise, we're going to have a long stall out and uh, people would be complaining about how long it takes. Am I How far off am I on that? Um, so you're partly true, uh, partly false. So let me just be honest with you. Nothing is happening to those uh, tokens for the first 12 months. Okay. Um, nothing. They are locked. Uh, they are they are held down. Um, they won't go anywhere. Um, the only caveat to that is if leverage becomes available, then we will announce it to the community of what's going on. We then will give the community a vote. Obviously, the founders' notes have have a voting power, but so does everybody else. And there's only fifty thousand of them. So if we hypothetically get to call it one hundred and five thousand uh, NFTs out there. And hypothetically, the founders would like to unlock that before the year's up. And every other uh, NFT says, no, guess what? We can't do it. It has to stay there. So um, the the ability to uh, to do things in crypto, guys, it, it is really the community's um, decision. So we're committing in the light paper. It's a one year lockup. It cannot change unless uh, vote changes it. And that has to be majority. Great. I like it. Uh, so locked up for the leverage of the ecosystem too, friends, you can hear that. So it's not going to get dumped on the marketplace. So that's that's the important thing I think that everyone needed kind of to hear. And we're still the very first retail participants. They, we are still getting in for the general public and before big publicity comes out. Speaking yes. of big publicity, I know you were expecting some guests coming in last night. So do you have any bombs you want to drop on that front? Um, we have finalized... Uh... Uh, the deal with one digital that is uh, now completed. It is done. And uh, we've got a lot of other things that we have some collaborations with them on. Um, and I think everybody's going to be very, very excited and happy. Uh, the other one is actually still an hour and a half away. Uh, even though it is 1130 at night, I'm trying to grab dinner and my night doesn't end. Uh, so um, having said that, nope, I'm not ready to drop the other name yet because the meeting hasn't happened yet. But uh, it, another hour and a half, I'll... Uh, I'll have it and then hopefully uh, happy Thursday with light papers. I'll have something else for you. Oh, we can jump on in a few hours after you're done if you want. That's all right. <laughs> we can make it work. <laughs> uh, yeah, very cool. So One Digital is the organization, for those who are not clear, that is currently getting 3 billion impressions a month, which is absolutely fantastic. So um, that's just, uh, that's unbelievable. Anything else you want to mention about One Digital at this point? Do they want to say hi? Yes. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Um, is, he, is he squawking a new lemon Ferrari outside in the parking lot right now? Is that what's going on? <laughs> no, I mean, actually, I have something. I have something else. We're going to wait, wait to uh, give you guys another lemon drop uh, tomorrow. I, I know I'll be back on with you. It's, it's a big one. And so uh, tune back in tomorrow with uh, light papers. I'm sure we're going to have a bunch of questions on that. So let's go ahead and do uh, light papers. And um, I'll get beat up a little bit, I'm sure. And then we'll have some... <laughs> Some fun little lemon drops at the end of it. Um, I want to make sure everybody understands uh, the light papers. I want to make sure everybody understands um, the flow, how the tokenomics work, why the tokenomics are that way. And so I, I think it's going to be a pretty um, fun call tomorrow. Um, and then at the uh, at the end of it, I also think that uh, it's going to be something that uh, we'll have a couple uh, caveats, hopefully, for my meeting tonight and a couple of things that we uh, got worked out today. Uh, for that call, Terry, we're going to push it. Um, because I want to make sure people have a chance to get through the light papers. So I'm going to wake up at four o'clock in the morning here. So if you're available tomorrow at seven, your time at night, um, then we're going to do it uh, my morning, your evening. 
so that people have more than 15, 20, 30 minutes to look at a light paper. Because I do want questions. I do want to, you to be able to go through them and get the, get things cleared up. I don't want to do a Q&A uh, on light papers and, you know, you've got them 30 minutes beforehand. Yep. Got it. Okay. We can do that. So tomorrow for 7 Eastern is what you're saying. Yes. Got it. Se seven, uh, well, 7 o'clock Mountain Standard. Sorry. That's 8. That's fine. Uh, nine, nine, yeah. 7, 7 o'clock Mountain Standard time. Okay. All right. Got you. You're still, you're still checked in with Mountain. I'm fine with that. We'll, we'll sort it out. All right. We could do that. Light papers are going to be good. And the great news about light papers, once they get to tokenomics, once we've got dozens of projects coming in with the exact same stuff. So it just has to do then with what are some of the underlying business models that accompany those tokenomics. And speaking of right. which, are there any other, um, maybe some of these upcoming ones that are kind of lemon branded with the same tokenomics that are coming soon did you want to drop any hints or speak about any of those one of the meetings i'm having tonight uh, correlates with the lem one store and lem fashion i will actually drop both of those they both are coming and uh, both of them have something very specific to do with uh the meetings i'm having tonight uh i actually dropped uh the um uh the app uh, or one of the apps in the ecosystem which is catfiz yeah um that is Catfish by Lemon. This is a hundred million dollar uh, application and technology. It actually was the first part of technology that went into another app most people know, which is called WhatsApp. It's just more known in uh, in, in the Asian uh, regions, uh, Malaysia, um, Indonesia, and Asia. Um, this app is amazing in its V2 stage. I have seen the v3 stage and trust me this is going to be groundbreaking um it, it was purchased for 100 million and they put about another 15 million in it um and it's uh it's going live with um i'm gonna i'm gonna say it's over 5 million users and i actually probably ah, i already dropped it it's over 15 million users I, I think i actually put it in the chat so I'll, I'll just say it uh these users are already circling they're already um uh, looking at us uh, from a 500 foot window, they will be invited into uh, the family about the third week of July. So um, I'm holding everybody off. Like I said, I'm going to try to give everybody to a launch pad first, and then we're going to um, allow everybody from um, the world around us in. And for the sake of clarity on the Catfish one, just to help people out, this is the this is the plat the base platform that's evolving going into V3. That's going to include a lot of social media functionality and a lot of that. Um, uh, what's not Twitter? Um, a lot of the TikTok, TikTok style, like yes. uh, one click link buttons that you were describing. Yes. And did you also want to talk about who produced the technology? Or are we not ready for that? Um, no, not ready. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. It'll, it'll, lead, it'll, lead to an, it'll lead to an answer. I'm not ready. I'm not ready for yet. I got you. Um, but so just just for a uh, concise state, this this is this is a brand that's already been created. They want to keep the same branding. They tested it out in a market. Yes. They've already got lots of users, lots of adoption. It's evolving from V2 yes. to V3. And with that, we get LemPay, which is the functional layer for all those social media influencers to push lots of goods and services. And we bring in lots of revenue with LemPay. Am I connecting dots correctly? You are. And in fact, I got asked a question earlier. How do you have uh, one and a half um, million wallets with crypto ready to purchase LEM? It's coming from the Catfiz ecosystem. So um, they've already teed up. They've already they are, are well aware about the rebranding into Lemon. It's only about 10 percent of them have clicked the box, proofed up their wallets at this point to come over. It is growing. So it, you, you have 15 million possibilities. Um, but, uh, but understand guys, this, this is the excitement of, of kind of running. This is the excitement of, of getting things out. I will tell you, this will be the largest blockchain crypto launch and how fast it's coming together and how big it's going to hit the marketplace. I've never seen anything like it. And I'm very excited to have my name on it. And my partners are very excited to have their names on it. Um, and I will tell you, this is not a one man show over here. This is, this is a large team. Um, and you do have. You do have a, a couple very, very influential people on the chats right now uh, that yell at me quite often, by the way. You got to you got to stop this out. Um, they're already in. They're already here. They're already watching. So um, 
some of them have, have kind of poked their toe out uh, to kind of say hi, um, played a little uh, fun thing about the memes. A few of people have reached out to me already and said, oh, my gosh, who is this? Um, they're here, guys. They're already in. Um, they're looking and uh, their groups are coming uh, coming forward very shortly. Very cool. Well, I'm always I, I, don't, I mean, I don't want to I still want the group to be a good space, a free space for communication. But we can always step up the quieting the noise uh, level whenever you want to give me that green light. We can all of us admins can jointly just kind of start. Down. I am not. I do not want to uh, to mute anybody. I do not want to kick anybody. I I will not allow that type of uh, moderation in the group. It needs to be a free vocal um, uh, place for uh, constructive criticism, uh, for um, any any issues you're having with uh, with lemon or all things lemon. Please uh, reach out. It's just not a vent. Be, if you don't have another place to vent, don't use lemon to vent. <laughs> exactly. For, for reasonable, intelligent questions, all good, right? It's, it, that's the platform just, for just, just just with respect. Honestly, guys, I don't I don't uh, I don't believe Web3 should ever be a, uh, a kicking environment. I just want to make sure that people are keeping um, keeping things respectful to community members and non-community members. We want everyone to be part of the family, no matter what side they're on, um, no matter what crypto project they're in. No matter if they're from XRP or, or Bitcoin or uh, Ethereum, I don't care. I, I want everybody to feel welcome in our community. And I think that's what I'm trying to put forward. Yeah, no, I complete agreement on that. Um, just get, it does get noisy sometimes. That's all I was saying. The uh, yeah. You talked about One Digital earlier. We haven't really gotten a chance to elaborate a lot on what kind of role they end up they want to play what vision they see of how they plan to kind of leverage that influence that they currently have did you want to touch on that um a very very big one um they uh they are bringing in um well for instance they will be the ones behind the large launch event in october um so the artists uh in that uh that will be uh, at the event uh, putting the event on, uh, going through it, there'll definitely be that side of it. Above and beyond that, strategic um, advertising uh, is obviously something that uh, will be happening regularly. Uh, you obviously understand about uh, Lemflix, uh, obviously having a media company, and you know, um, and that that's uh, by our side to kind of run through uh, ads and that type of stuff are totally fine. Crypto is not something we're going to ask any of the influencers to push, but we have hard products. We have a lot of them. So you're going to see a lot of collaborations with the hard uh, products themselves, the bank, the debit cards, uh, Lemflix, um, uh, Lempay. Those types of things are how we're going to leverage uh, the marketing to go out uh, live and big. We don't need to be in a limited audience of just uh, crypto and Web3. Uh, that's still probably less worldwide than 8%, eight, nine percent of the population. I would rather go out there and get the rest of them to get comfortable with the space. Let's go ahead and push uh, something that they understand uh, and get their eyeballs. And that's that's how we'll leverage that and do something different than most companies have ever done. You you talked about the launch event that's been mentioned in the past, but we haven't really got into that much. Is that something you're comfortable discussing at this time or is it still going to be pretty secretive as it, until we lead into closer to it? Uh, it's going to be pretty secretive. Uh, we are going to leak out a rough uh, month. It will be uh, right now in the month of October. Um, I, I've said it's going to be someplace that uh, I'm close to right now. I will leave it that vague. Um, but uh, understand this is going to be something that I think when we start the advertisement on it, I believe the, uh, the three-month uh, work up to it is going to put somewhere a little under a, a billion uh, eyes on it. Uh, we're talking tickets in the upwards of probably 20 to 30,000, uh, tickets will be available to the event. Uh, it will be 100% all things lemon. So understand it's going to be a large affair. It's going to be something that's fun, something that's light and everybody will, um, will want to be out for it, but it is going to be something that the average public can come in as well. Um, obviously learn a little bit about the sponsors, uh, but more importantly, uh, just, just, Stop all the seriousness and just have fun. <laughs> and I, I take it then on that note, you don't want to discuss other partners that are involved with that event for this time. I'm very hopeful to 
you know, announce a, a layer one being launched at that event. Ah, I like that. I like that. Uh, well, I, I'm, I've also heard a few whispers about who else is going to be involved with it. And I think some people are going to be very excited when they do hear it. So I guess we'll, you, we will <laughs> wait until we get to that event. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> um, trying to think. Um, so tomorrow morning, you're, you're looking to get those papers out early and, yep. uh, and we will get that going. And then maybe, maybe, maybe a couple of bombs tomorrow we can get dropped with. Yes, that's, that's what I'm trying to uh, get everybody to right now. Uh, it'll be the one week countdown to, uh, to swap. So I, I obviously want to make sure that uh, people have time to kind of get through everything um, and get things uh, running. It will be the first time um, that obviously we have anything on the platform. And so obviously, you know, we feel very good about it. But uh, with tech, we need you guys to prove it out. So we're going to press go and we'll see how it works. Love it. Love it. Well, excited to see all the new tech, excited about uh, the new announcements. I trust that tonight's negotiations are probably almost done and should go smooth. So we're excited to hear about that. Hopefully you can uh, chat about it a bit more. And uh, with that, do you have any other closing comments that you want to leave everyone with or anything else that you really want to touch on that we haven't tackled? No, guys, I got honestly, I, I'm very, I'm very excited right now. I'm very, uh, very positive. I know I come down on some of you guys about just keeping the chat clean, but all in all, you guys have been amazing. And I know that everybody's kind of been through uh, the trenches. I know everybody's digging out. Um, I know that there are a lot of people uh, that are in the same uh, boat. Uh, and um, the two parallel paths, it doesn't matter what side you're on. We're all working our butts off uh, to try and make it the best experience for everybody that's involved. So I just want to you know, leave that saying, hey, guys, we're, we are united. Um, I don't care what anybody says. We're united. We are we are a family and uh, let everything else just kind of go off your shoulders. It really doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. Uh, we're, we're together. Uh, Jason, some questions that just came up again about micros, specifically the debt micros. Is there anything to discuss at this point in time? No, we don't have micros in um, in the lemon side because the full NFTs are free. It's not. It's not part of the business model over here. Um, we've tried a couple ideas. Uh, we've tried to kick it around. Um, you know, uh, the, the you know, we've kind of thought, well, maybe go ahead and let the micros come in the same time as the NFTs, but then you start to pay the minting fee. I don't have a good solution for them, and so they're just kind of an oddball that's kind of out uh, and running. And so, um, Unfortunately, I don't have a good answer, and the tech is not set up right now to deal with them because we didn't build it in knowing we're just dealing with NFTs. And so anything I say I want to do, my dev team cringes and says, Jason, we have about nine, 9 million other things we're doing right now, including you know dozens and dozens of L2 projects coming out. Um, so V-boxes are a problem. Um, I don't have a solution because of how they are staked and, and that in the – in the uh, current uh, position, I don't have a solution for micros. Um, having said that, um, I think we've taken care of about everything else, uh, debt token holders including. Um, so if you have a micro, you're getting taken care of because you obviously have debt token. Uh, so it doesn't have to be a 100% uh, uh, solve rate. Guys, I, I think we're, we're hitting the bar at about 98. Um, and if you have a micro, um, I, I have good faith in debt. I'm a large holder in debt. Keep it, enjoy it, and uh, and keep it running. Right. The, the micro served a time and a place for people to get their foot in the door, but uh, just the way the ecosystem is done at Lemon, it doesn't make any sense. So, um, you know, hey, it's great. It's great. We've got a lot of exciting things happening, and uh, some in, in a lot of ways we're hitting way above 98. I think <laughs> it's sounding like the way things are coming together, we might be far ahead of all the things that we were all discussing, excited about, dreaming about, pumped about last year. We may be ahead of, of where that is and in a short time frame. So just to keep everyone focused on that, you're getting lost in the little, little details. They're going to become insignificant quick in the questions that you still have. You don't need to know the answers to them yet. They're all coming, especially in things like light papers, which are right around the corner. Uh, you, you might see them sooner than you think. So with that, any closing thoughts or comments, Jason? Nope. Thank you, everybody. And uh, uh, to all you, good night. Have a great night, guys. We'll catch you all in tomorrow's call.